Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Review for today. Monday the 31st of July 2023. I'm Kenny Demaja Kodumi. Open Heavens is authored by that in the Lord Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Father, we want to say thank you for another working, new working week. We say blessed be your name. Thank you for seeing us through the month of July. Thank you for the ability, for the enablement, O oh Lord, to see the last day in the month of July. We give you all the praises. We say, Blessed be your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you have sent your word to us, O oh Lord, that you will teach us your word. You will teach us your ways, O oh Lord. And through your word, O oh Lord, our lives will be transformed and renewed, O oh Lord, for your use in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic for today is overcoming lust and temptation. Overcoming lust and temptation. Our memory verse is taken from the book of 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 22. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Abstain from all appearance of evil. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 22. Our Bible reading is taken from the book of 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13. There are no temptation taking you. For such as is common to man, but God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape, that ye may be able to bear it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The message. What is leading you in life? Is it your flesh or the Spirit of God? Whenever you allow the flesh to give you direction, it will always end in regret. But when you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you in all things, you can be sure that all will be well. The first step to overcoming lust and temptations is submission to God, which supplies the power you need to resist the devil. And he will flee from you according to James 4 verse 7. Moreover, the good news is that the faithfulness of God will not allow his children to be tempted above their ability without making a way of escape for them. In our Bible reading today, we saw that God will not allow us to be tempted beyond what we can bear and he will always make a way of escape for us. This is so reassuring. It is for this reason that James 1, 2-4 and James 1, 12 admonishes us to count it as joy and a blessing when we are going through diverse temptations. This is because God uses it to perfect the patience of his children and also as promotion exams for them to receive the crown of life. In spite of the assurance above, however, if, for example, your eyes are always glued to the seductive images on the television, the internet, and your surroundings, you are merely feeding the lust of your flesh, and such will lead you to hell. Don't fall into it. If you still tolerate ungodly desires to dwell and grow in your heart, heavenly thoughts, divine visions, and inspirations cannot find expression in you. All believers are required to present their bodies as a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God. Your body is the temple of God, not a showpiece for people. If you choose to dress in a way, to steer lost from the opposite sex, you can no longer claim to be a child of God, but an instrument in the hand of the devil. Whoever you honor with your appearance determines who you truly serve. God has provided us with everything we need to overcome lust and temptations through Jesus Christ. All we need is to follow his examples. Hebrews 4 verse 15 says, Jesus, our high priest, was in all points tempted, but he scaled over them, all without a sin. He has given us the power to resist the devil and to live above laws and temptation. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic once more is overcoming laws and temptations. We were told yesterday that, you know, temptation is a must for every believer. 
at one point or the other you will go through temptation so there's no escaping to it and that's why we need to know when temptations come how do we overcome how can we how can it be possible that that temptation will not swallow us up that we will, at the end of the day will be victorious and that is why this topic has come to us so it is a topic that is essential to every believer and i pray that the lord will open our eyes he will teach us and will be overcomers in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ amen from the from what we read today we have been made to understand that um temptation it's a way that god uses to perfect patience in the life of his children you know so it is a way that he uses to perfect patience in the life of his children if you read the book of james 1 2 to 4 and james 1 verse 12 and also because when you are able to have this patience at the end of the day then he promotes you and when you are promoted what do you get you receive the crown of life you know so we can say this is what makes you qualify you know to get the crown of life and that is why it's every believer will go through temptation at one point or the other i pray that when we get go through temptation in the name of the lord jesus christ we will overcome every temptation even as our lord jesus christ overcame in the name of jesus amen we're also told very importantly that a lot of people are working as agents of the devil to tempt people so this is an eye opener the bible says you you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free but adventure you have been working as the agent of the devil without you knowing you know the word of god has come to you today so that you can change from your ways so that you can align your ways with the with god and like Adadi has said he said all believers we are required to present our bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto god why because our body is a temple of the living god so our body is not to be showcased you know in an in in, in, in you know in a way that we are provoking others you know with our bodies we are not to dress seductively you know there's a lot of ways that people have dressed and they have and they have made a lot of people fall and they are, the devil is using them as the agent to tempt people and like Azadi has also made us understand, he said, dress in a way, a lot of people dress in a way to steer loss from opposite sex. And you can no longer claim to be a child of God if you dress in a way that you steer the lost loss of the opposite sex. If they ask you, you say, oh no, it doesn't matter, I'm just dressing, I, I, it doesn't affect me in any way. But are you? how is it affecting the other person? And like we've been told that if you dress in a way that it is sharing loss you know it's making people uh, uh, the opposite sex you know to f- is that it makes it the person of the opposite sex to feed the lust of the eye or the lust of the flesh then you can no longer claim to be a child of god and it did not e- end there he said but an instrument in the hand of the devil if you are dressing in such a way that you are provoking loss in for, you know in the eyes of the opposite sex then you can't say you are a child of God. And what that means is that such a person is a child of the devil. I pray for you and I in the name of Jesus that will not be instruments in the hand of the devil in the name of Jesus. So as we dress, ask yourself, who am I honoring? Am I honoring God with my dress? Ask yourself that sincere question. Is it am I is is, is this honoring God or is it honoring the devil? I pray that for you and I we will always dress to honor the Lord. Our body will at every point in time be presented as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God in the name of Jesus. So how do we overcome the loss and, uh, and temptation? You know, it, according to the book of James 4 verse 7, he said we should submit to God. Then he says we will resist the devil and it will flee. So all we need to do is submit to God. 
in your submission, then you receive that power to resist the devil. But adventure that temptation has been coming anytime it comes, you fall under that temptation and be like, How do I go about it? I have said, No, I'm not going to eat. I'm not going, you know, I'm going, I, I want to stop taking alcohol. I want to stop smoking. I want to stop womanizing. I want to stop this. I want to stop that. But yet, you still go back to it. What it means is that you need power. You need power. And that power can be gotten. You can only get it by submitting to God. So we need to submit to God. And when you submit to him, then you receive power. How does this submission come? One of the ways you can submit is ask him for help. Ask him for help. Ask him for help. Like we were told that what is leading, what is leading you in life, is it your flesh or the spirit of God? You know, is it your flesh or the spirit of God? If your flesh is leading you at every point in time, it is your eyes that you are allowing to lead you. It is your flesh. It is the pride that you are allowing to lead you. Then at the end of the day, it will end in regret. But if you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you, that if you submit to God and call upon the Holy Spirit to help you, then it will give you power. You will be able to say no to those temptations and your no will be no. And they will flee from you. I pray in the name of Jesus that you, for you and I, will receive power in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ to resist every temptation that comes our way in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So, therefore, why also, why also made to understand that no matter what that temptation that you and I, you can be thinking that you are going through, our Lord Jesus Christ went even went through so much more. And praise the Lord because he overcame them all. And so he has also given you and I power to overcome every temptation. That is why we have the Holy Spirit. Engage the Spirit of the Lord. And call upon the Lord to strengthen your inner mind by the Holy Spirit. When your inner man is strengthened by the Holy Spirit, then there is no temptation that you cannot overcome. And how do you do this? Feed your spirit man. Uh, when you feed it, then you will not be led by your flesh. It is whichever one that you feed that will always rule and dominate. Feed it by submitting, completely obeying the word of God. What are the things you listened to with your ear? Are you listening to the word of God? Do you listen to you know, good, good messages from men of God that will help you, that will feed your, that will suppress the flesh and help your spirit man to be built. Are you, what are the things that you watch? Who do you follow on social media at every point in time? What do you allow to attract you? Are you intentional in saying, no, I don't want this thing to attract me. Where do you go to? What do you lay your hands on? All these things are very important because those are the things that determine what, what you are feeding, which one you are feeding, if it is your flesh and your spirit. And I pray that the grace to feed our spirit man through the help of the Holy Spirit, the Lord will give unto us in the name of Jesus. And we will receive power to overcome the devil, to overcome every temptation, to resist every temptation, to resist the devil and it will flee from us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So we have a high priest, which is Jesus Christ. And like I said, as he was tempted at all points, or he scaled over them, all without sin. For you and I will scale over every temptation without sinning in the name of Jesus. And he has given you and I power to resist the devil and to live above lust and temptation. Hallelujah. Receive power to live above lust and temptation in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The prayer point. Father, please empower me to overcome lust and temptation in the name of Jesus Christ. This prayer is something we should pray at all times. That the Lord will empower us. That he will give us power to overcome. Because we cannot do it on our own. We can only achieve this by the help of the Holy Spirit. I pray that the Lord will empower you and I in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I will be promoted. In the name of Jesus, who will overcome every form of temptation to the glory of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for being part of the review for today. God bless you. Amen.